Let's make a summertime classic, a deli pasta salad. Now I know there are very many ways of making pasta salad. I have a ton of different ways I make pasta salad, but this is what I call my classic deli version. And I don't know if it's this way around all of the United States, but when you go to a deli around here and you ask for pasta salad, this is what you get. And this is my version of it. So I love to boil some elbow pasta until al dente. Don't boil to mush, please. Make sure it's salted water so that you get flavored pasta from the very beginning. And then I finally dice some celery. I do celery, bell pepper, and red onion, and I make sure that they are very finely diced because I want everything to kind of mix together super, super well so that there are no big, big chunks of one thing and then like not another. Or if like, if it's too big of a piece, I feel like it doesn't balance as well. And you guys know these videos are in addition to my regular content, never instead of. And I actually already have a full recipe of this on my website with a Full dedicated video so if you want to watch a full recipe go ahead but i love to share what we cook and when we eat and with fourth of july labor day and all kinds of summer gatherings around the corner or that are probably already happening as we speak i make this a ton especially when i'm doing like a classic american meal like a barbecue sandwich and corn on the cob i always love to make this pasta salad with it so that's why I'm sharing it with you because we made it uh, not too long ago with some barbecue chicken sandwiches and it was just such a delightful meal with boiled corn on the cob. I did a pot of uh, cornbread and it was just sensational. Um, and I went ahead and finally chopped up some red onion as well and along with some parsley. Make sure you chop everything nice and fine because like I said, you want to make sure everything gets mixed together really well. Add it to a large bowl with your drained and cold pasta. Make sure you cool your pasta under cold water to shock it from cooking any further. And then you're going to go ahead and make the dressing portion. The dressing portion of this video is very standard and very easy. I do mayo, mustard, white vinegar, and then I do a bunch of seasonings. And like I said, the full recipe is on my website and you can grab it and print it and make it. And it's just delicious. And especially if you're having a ton of people, it's the kind of thing that benefits from being made ahead of time. So you can make this the day before and it's amazing when you serve it. Add that dressing to your pasta, give everything a really good mix. And then all you have to do really is cover it and let it sit in the fridge for a while. And it is perfect. I also love to add hard boiled eggs to this. I didn't on this day, but sometimes I do. Is that weird? I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next one.